Hey YouTube, uh, this is Petey Two Finger, and I just made a video about soldering. So if you're into pedal building and uh, or hobby that involves soldering, I'd encourage you to watch that video. It's probably called something about flux. Everything you wanted to know about flux, but we're afraid to ask. So this is a little um, this device when it when it was purchased before I modified it. It just looked like this. And it has a, a slot where you can put a Walkman. And there's a little jack here to connect. Um, and it's got internal AA battery, uh, 4X AA. So this is a little Walkman amplifier. And it's got bass and treble controls as well as volume. Um, so I inserted, I built a tone generator and built that into the side of it that's the terrible signal you can see there's a little geeky guy there and the, these come out so this puts out a beep and then here is ye old input this is the input ye old input plugs in like this with the little uh RCA and then that splits off into another couple of test probes and then on the top we have the uh, star of the show our little 9 volt battery with some test leads so when I'm done with a circuit board a guitar effect PCB um, you connect the output of the beep to the input of the circuit and then you connect, the, this is the input, this goes to the output of your circuit, like this. And then the power supply is this battery here. And this, uh, you clip that onto the power wires and then you should be able to test uh, like, let's say you built a distortion, you would hear it distorted and louder. And then you can adjust all the controls and test and say, hey, I did a good job building this thing. It works. It fired right up. Or if you're like me, nothing. Dead silence. <laughs> I had four in a row that didn't work. So that this is my little test rig. You could very just as easily have separate, like, could you hand me the uh, uh, snaky box? Bitches, love my switches. This is a mini guitar amp. So you would have to get this and then a cable. Uh, I'll take a little cable too. Um, this this is the snaky box. This, this is the... Um, see the snake? This is the beep... So let's say um, you didn't have that little contraption. You could you could take build a separate box for your oscillator, and then a separate amp, or plug it right into your Marshall stack for testing. You know me, I want to do it right where I'm working in the little area, and that's why I built this mini thing so I can set this down, and it kind of the way that the cables fall are conducive to the hooking it up and having nothing short you know you can kind of hook it up and it's it's safe but the 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 idea behind this is the same idea behind this you're just you're sending a signal and like you you don't need this this part here you don't need this you can plug your guitar in and play your guitar now me i know because i've been doing this hobby a while that more often than not when you're done putting something together it's not going to work that there's going to be something that you're going to have to figure out. It's called troubleshooting. And I find having a guitar plugged into it and having to reach over and go, eh, every time you go back to work on it and figure out what's wrong, to not be conducive at all. So I like troubleshooting with a uh, signal generator. This is one I built. It's called the RG Keen Quick and Dirty Test Oscillator. Uh, and it works well. And, like, you can... You could just take this cable here and cut it and prepare both ends and then quickly solder those onto your input and output. That's another way to do it. There's people that build this thing called the Beavis board, 
which is it's just like this but it's on a board and it's got a uh, pedal chassis with a bypass switch and in and out jacks so you put that beavis board down and those can have out they can you can build them however you want you can have alligator clips to come out to clip onto everything you know just like just like what's on here they usually do and then um they can plug in a test signal generator or a guitar you know you start off with the test generator and once you get it working then you plug your guitar in that's how it works but uh, um, I had this thing, and I was like, it's so cute. You know, I, I want to turn it into, like, playing guitar through it, like using a modeler, because it looks like an amp, even though it's white. Like, hook this up to a modeler, and this would be a cool little pra practice speaker. Well, no. I made it into this thing, which is a test rig for my pedal circuits, and uh, I really like that thing. I really do. It's kind of smaller than a Beavis board, if you've ever seen them. They're a little larger. Um... Let's see if we can find a Beavis board so I can show you what I'm talking about. Beavis was a guy who had a pedal website. And I'm not sure if it's still around. It was kind of going up and going down. Here are the Beavis boards. These things are awesome. Uh, this one it has a nine volt battery slot. Then there's uh, the the these are screw terminals, so you would screw uh, like what I did uh, uh, on the one side of my mini amp. I have screw terminals here uh, for the signal out. These are screw terminals here. So if those fail, I can just replace these wires and uh or hook hook up whatever i need and then on the other side i went with this rca design which it's kind of like it's not really this was dumb doing it this way i really would like this better if it had this on the other side so at some point i probably will um you know let me spend an hour and modify this and put that in there but let's go back to the internet and take a look at these Beavis boards some more. They're fun to look at. This one is a prototyping, so it has breadboard. So you build your circuit here and then tie wires on and, and put them in where they need to be. And then you can uh, toggle bypass. Here's your in and out. There's a master volume pot always hooked up. That's the Beavis board. Super cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Uh, I think I've shown this thing before. I was just doing a couple of videos about this hobby, you know, like I do a lot of talking on here. I'll come on and talk for 20 minutes about an amp that I'm building. <laughs> a lot. And uh, every once in a while I got to do something where... Uh, I show you something like the fruit of the labor. You know what I mean? Otherwise, what's the point of it? So thank you guys. I really do appreciate your patronage of uh, my video. And I have fun doing this. It gives me something to do. Take care of yourselves. I hope all of your projects fire up on the first try. Hug your pets. Be nice. And peace.